Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh, hope you're all doing well and guys I've got a backdrop. I'm so happy I've literally got a backdrop. I feel like it just like, literally makes the video look so much better. I'm just waiting for my lights to arrive and a new microphone but anyway you're not here for that. You're here about my little nose and if you're new here what's popping? Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really would help me out and Let's get into the video. <sighs> I'm literally out of breath. I just ran up those stairs five times, forgot what I was going for, and I went for this banana because I am absolutely starving. So, just to spill some tea on what it is like in the nose job, giving you some tips, tricks, and advice, and also what I have experienced just so it can give you insight if you're going through the same or if you're looking to get a nose job. So the first thing I have to speak about and it's probably been the worst thing for me in some respect. If I wasn't in quarantine, I would have hated this. But when you get your nose done because it is healing, it does get very, very, very oily and it's so annoying because every time you put makeup on, that bitch will be off. Also, probably another bad thing and it's so, so irritating and let me tell you, the blackheads you will get on your nose is literally no joke. That is disgusting. It literally feels like I've got a thousand bumps all over my nose. And the worst thing is you can't squeeze your nose because you have to be very gentle and delicate. So you just have to ride it out. <laughs> I've not put any pore strips on it just yet, but I'm going to get some next month when my nose has settled and healed more. And then I'll begin to steam and also do blackhead extractions because... Oh, that is so, so annoying. <laughs> yeah, so your skin, it's gonna be clogged up, full of mess, especially because of the cast, which you had on in the first and second week. And yeah, it's just not gonna be good. So expect a lot of skin problems, blackheads, greasy, oily skin, perhaps even dry patches. Just expect a lot of skin problems. On a positive, the swelling has decreased a lot. And if you go back to my first two videos where I'm talking about my nose, so the first video I done was a week after. My nose was huge. I had really bad uneven swelling, especially on this side. I still do now to an extent, but it certainly isn't as bad as it was. And then first two videos, my nose, as you can see, is still very swollen. And also from the side, it is very swollen here. So excuse my pony, by the way bits of my hair sticking out that's really not attractive thank you so I'd say by the third month it starts to go down quite a lot so I've still got another month waiting but we can do this we can do this and I think it's been okay for me because we have been in quarantine so I have been hiding I don't have to go out see anyone so it has gone down quite well for me and I'm not stressing out about if I'm going out for a makeup or a meal for makeup makeup so I've not been stressed out if I've been going for a meal or the club or anything like that I've just been letting myself relax and heal so in one respect it is quite good for me I literally come back from Turkey and then three days later they shut the borders so that was lucky for me <laughs> also on my little list is that my tip is still extremely numb I can't feel the tip whatsoever I can feel up here but around the tip area that is numb and apparently that'll be numb for at least nine months but it has gone a bit better a bit more feeling but it still is very numb another positive is that i don't use tape anymore so i think i'd only use tape now going forward is if if i was going out to a nice meal or a special event and then a tape in the night so it's very snatched and small for the following day but I don't find it's necessary to tape anymore my nose isn't extremely swollen it does have uneven swelling still but it's not as bad as it was and I can still feel small lumps and bumps up the nose also another thing is I have noticed the tip has dropped a lot it has dropped from the side so it's not as sticky uppy as it was which I like obviously because I don't want a piggy nose but I was actually getting used to it when it was a bit more up so I don't know I'm kind of missing it a bit the best things you could buy are cotton buds and literally buy them by the dozen I have got stacks and stacks and stacks of tubs of cotton buds I am obsessed because you do get a blot nose and because you can't really blow your nose or really you know 
get the gunk out of there in a nice way. So I just take a cotton bud and just clean my nose before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning and it sounds nasty as hell but I just get all the gunk and all the bogeys and crows and all that jazz out of the nose and it literally helps so much because you don't want to be blowing your nose after your surgery especially in the three month mark because your nose is extremely sensitive and still healing so you could dislodge something or in my previous video I said that don't drink alcohol and I never listened to my own advice and yeah I've been drinking alcohol basically but also a positive what I've noticed is it isn't getting as swollen as it used to when I drank alcohol so I'm like I had a bottle of champagne last night and my nose is not looking like Squidward so it's all good. So I've had a lot of DMs from people just asking questions about advice and also just regarding the surgery. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer some of those questions now which I've received just in case anyone, you know, has the same questions and wants just to know a bit more about it. So, so the main question I got is, do you think the whole process is worth it? And 100% yes. The, how much this has improved my confidence it's always something I've wanted since I was a little girl and even now I just feel beautiful like I can just turn to the side and take selfies like and that's the only thing I wanted I hated my side profile so much and it just feels like I look so much different but in a good way but still like myself as well if that makes any sense but 100% the whole process is worth it and the amount of time you feel uncomfortable for is a week that is nothing in like the space of your whole lifetime. A week of discomfort for the whole of your life of just feeling confident and your best. Someone also asked me, how was it getting it done in Turkey? Was the accommodation expensive? And no, it was extremely cheap. It was so, so cheap there. It was ridiculous. I think we got like a fillet steak for six pounds, which was absolutely ridiculous. If you got that over in England, it would be about 40 pounds. But the accommodation cost me £300 for 10 nights in Istanbul, which is literally nothing over here. You'd spend that for one night in Manchester alone, never mind going abroad and 10 nights in a five-star accommodation. Also, another question I got is, did you go there before the surgery? And no, I didn't. So I just had my consultation on FaceTime and over the phone, and then I flew over there, had a face-to-face -face consultation with the doctor, and then later on that afternoon I went in for my surgery which I actually preferred because I wasn't building up those anxious nerves or anything like that it was just bish bash bosh straight in and out you didn't have time to be nervous which you know was a big help for me because I never been under anaesthetic before and I was absolutely shitting myself if I did not wake up honestly I was so scared about going under but it's nothing to be scared about also, the total amount of my trip and the cost was, so I paid 3,200 euros for my surgery, 300 for my hotel, and then the flights were like something like 200 pound return. So if you add it up in the grand scheme of things, it's cheaper doing all that and getting a very good experience, having a holiday too, than just getting it done in England. I would, if I had any more surgery, I'd go straight back there. Wow, I've got really bad indigestion. I set the banana really quick. <laughs> also, another question I got is, can you see your scars now after your surgery? To be honest, I couldn't see them after it straight away, but especially not now. I only had a tiny one under my nose and yeah, I literally, I couldn't even tell that I had scars. And especially now that the swelling's gone down a bit then, it's not as red. You wouldn't even know that I've had a nose job, honestly. Like there's no scarring nothing like that in my opinion i think it looks so natural also a lot of people have been saying did you get any more surgery in secret because you have changed quite a lot since i had to have a nose my old nose but the answer is no i did not thank you very much once you have a nose job literally your whole face will change and like you'll start seeing features that you never seen before like i didn't realize how like high my cheekbones was because I was just focused on my nose and like my eyes too it's just you look at yourself different but in a good way that like you start to notice features that were masked if that makes sense the last question is do you recommend getting surgery done abroad in Istanbul 
and the answer is 100%. If I got any more surgery, I would go back to Istanbul rather than England itself. I just feel like the doctors are more experienced in different body types and different facial features because if you look at the UK, they mainly do noses from the UK. Turkey does noses from Iran, Turkey, USA, Australia, everywhere flies into Istanbul to get surgery, not only for the price, but also the doctors. They are some of the best in the world, especially my doctor. He done an amazing job. My nose was so, so big. Let me show you this photo, what he put up. I was literally distraught when I seen it. I was like, please don't tell me that was on my nose. <laughs> Thanks. I feel ashamed showing this photograph because it's literally disgusting. But like, look at that nose. That is just way too big for a start for my face. Like, literally, no thank you. But if you can see now, the difference is literally ridiculous. And this is what I mean. This is my face before. Oh God, this is disgusting. Like, look at that. That is not me, honestly, like, I love seeing how it changes each month. It's just a fantastic journey, to be honest. And especially because I'm in quarantine, I'm gonna ride it through. I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna watch some series and just let this nose heal. So, and if you have any more questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. My Instagram is Antonia Hyam X. So yeah, that's my Instagram. I'll also link it down below. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me and I'll answer any questions that you may have. So yeah, so I hope you liked this video guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.